Alrighty guys, we are back in the FE215B183, another tank that's a mouthful to say, I just like to call it the 183, and we are going to have some fun. As you can see here, our mission is to cause at least 6,000 damage to enemy vehicles, and well, we are going to give it our best. And if you're going to complete it in a mission, or if you're going to complete it in a tank, then this is probably one of the best tanks to do it with. This thing has 1,150 average damage with its armor-piercing rounds and a whopping 1,750 average damage with its Hesh and high explosive rounds if you penetrate. And yes, this is one of those tanks where it's almost like if you don't fire all premium rounds or mostly premium rounds, then go home. Don't even bother. <laughs> so this this one is one that, uh, unless you do several thousand damage every game and don't miss shots, and as long as you avoid taking damage, well, it's it's tough to to break even <laughs> there. And as you can see behind me, we have Binjuan in his 183 as well. He has just recently got it. He is working on training up some crew. So right now, my reload time actually beats his by almost five seconds just because of that crew. And that is very important. So I would recommend if you get one of these things to make sure that you train up your crew in a way possible and your equipment as well to give yourself the quickest reload possible. And hi, 704. Ooh, poor guy. One shot, 1600 damage. <laughs> Gotta love Hesh rounds. 704, if you have a 704, just keep that in mind. What just happened there? 704s do have decent armor. But, but, it's not amazing armor. And something like this can easily one shot you. And if you thought, ooh, that APCR from that <laughs> E4. If you thought the 704 had bad armor. Sorry, 152, I could have one-shot you with an armor-piercing round, let alone the Hesh round I just wasted on you. Every Hesh round I fired cost me 8,000 credits, which hurts a little bit. <laughs> so every time you miss one or you kill someone with it and do like 14 damage, it hurts because you know that you just lost 8,000 credits. And hi. Hi, ST1. There's a weak spot on you. Hit. 1,456. That's a bit of a low roll from the 1,750 average. But hey, I'll take it. Now we've loaded an armor-piercing round. We're going to see what we can do. I'm kind of expecting to have to go through the E4's turret here. Because he is hauled down. So I'm going to make sure I load an armor-piercing round. So that hopefully I can penetrate him and take him out with two shots. Rather than hitting him with Hesh and doing half the damage. Now he hits me with another APCR round. The turret of this thing is pretty tough. But if you start firing high exp or, uh, APCR rounds with like... 350 millimeters of penetration or whatever that thing has. Then it, it's going to hurt a little bit. I've got to make sure I aim it really carefully if I fire the SDI. But, ooh, there we go. A little bit of a low roll again, but I'll take it. Over half the health gone on the E4. Binduan taking a few hits back there. Enemies are just starting to get around behind us, but we have no choice but to let him deal with that. And me deal with this with the T-34. I can't survive another hit from that E4, so I'm sorry T-34 to my right there, but... Uh, not much I can do for you. And those cheeks on the E4, like you saw me shoot the first time, that is the best place to hit it if all you can see is the turret. Don't hit that thick mantlet. Alright, now our mission is to do 6,000 damage, and this is for Heavy Tank Mission 5, or sorry, TD Mission 15 for the T-55A. So if I complete this mission, that's another female crew, that's uh, another female crew member, which is great, and that's, uh, I think it's premium time or something in the reward as well, I can't remember. One step closer to the T-55A, and we are at 5,666. That's a 666, that isn't a good sign. Huh. That's not gonna <laughs> cause us problems at all, is it? There we go. We fired an armor piercing round with 310 millimeters of penetration at the roof of an IS 3, which in spots has upwards of 20 millimeters of armor. And it just ricocheted. Well, that's okay. We've got time here before the base gets captured with our 22, 25 second reload to fire another one at him. So let's see what we can do. Alright, got a shot. This time it's going to actually aim right above the gun where that 20 millimeter spot is. And it bounces too. Oh no, that's not good. We've got 20 seconds left to reload and there's only 12 seconds until our <laughs> allies finish capturing the base. Oh no, don't do this to me, Gabe. Don't do this. I guess three. At least you bounce, but no. We were so close to that mission. Uh, well, so much for doing 6,000 damage. There wasn't any blind shots in that game, so there's no way I did more damage than I didn't see. And we're just going to settle with 5,666. Damn you, 666. That's that's where our luck. That's where World of Tanks decided, you know what? This is a good number. We're just going to stop here. You're going to do no more damage.
but no, I must have got either unlucky and missed that weak spot on top of the IS-3's turret, but just enough that it had enough armor at that extremely high angle to ricochet, or else that was just such a high angle in the first place that regardless of how much armor that thing actually had or didn't have, that it was going to ricochet. So that's a bit unfortunate, and to know that if I was firing a Hesh round, which I still had more of, and I could have reloaded after I fired the first armor-piercing round, then it would have done enough damage, even without penetrating, just with that splash damage to finish our mission, so that makes me a little bit upset there. I've tried this mission a few dozen times, and it's just a matter of time until I get another really good mission, uh, sorry, really good game in that 183, and get another game over 7,000 damage, which I've done before. But 6,000 is all I need. That's all I want. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.